Generally shorter and finer belts cause more heating. Longer belts have more time to cool. For example, a 42-inch or 48-inch belt grinder causes far less heating than the workshop 12-inch belt. Coarse abrasives heat up less as compared to fine thanks to the air circulation between the large grains. A worn belt heats more than a new one. Even though the workshop nominally has two speeds, and Ken Onion edition three speeds, practically people hardly ever use the low speed because of the slow sharpening. In real life sharpening, people run the workshop at its high speed. In 2016, Anthony Spielberg showed in his tests that resharpening at the edge angle on the workshop course belt does not overheat the edge. In our test, we will regrind the edge from 20 to 16 degrees. In our test, we will regrind the edge from 20 to 16 degrees. We will be using the GRID 120 belt that in Ken Onion workshop is called extra course. In regular workshop it is called just course. The knife in this test has 20 degrees per side initially. Uh, not sure if the camera can catch it. I will do as many strokes as needed on the coarse belt to grind one side of the edge down to 16 degrees. I will stop as soon as I raise the burr and we will estimate the degree of heating by changes in the temperature lacquers on the other side of the blade. The workshop manual recommends feed rate of 1 inch per second. It is just under a second per the belt width. As you can see, the upper lacquer blew off by grinding, but we have the first two lacquers intact and We'll see by them if overheat happened. I see no signs of overheating. I see no signs of overheating, telling us that the coarse belt of the workshop does not overheat the edge even if we regrind it to a lower angle.
as per the workshop manual, honing on the fine 4 micron belt is done by 10 strokes, each side at a feed rate 1 inch per second. I won't comment on the edge angles in the workshop, at least not now. The actual angle we get is of course not the angle we see on the dial. It is the angle on the dial minus angle of the primary grind of the blade. What matters for our test is that 10 strokes on the fine belt each side of a double edge knife sums up to 20 strokes. So we give our knife total 20 strokes on one side and estimate the heating by changes in the temperature lacquers on the other side of the blade. We will test high speed and low speed. First, I turn the workshop speed to the maximum. This blade is 5 inch, so each stroke should take 4-5 seconds as per the workshop manual recommendation. I do it with the angle guides removed so that we can watch the process. I think of doing 10 strokes first, taking a photo, and then do full run of 20 strokes. Strokes done. Now we estimate the overheating. As a matter of fact, I do see signs of 163 Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit lacquer turning transparent at the very edge. Test. 
After 20 strokes on the workshop fine belt, we clearly see transition to transparent in the 163 Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit lacquer. The workshop fine belt at high speed hits up the edge of the blade to over 163 Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit, not exceeding 232 Celsius, 450 Fahrenheit. Next we check if the workshop low speed causes overheat. I down the speed to the minimum and repeat the same test. Blade in this knife is three and a half inches. So each stroke should take three seconds as per the workshop manual.
Let's take the photo. I see the 163 Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit temperature lacquer turning transparent at its corners. The areas close to the edge. This gives 10 times magnification. I need to take a closer look under microscope. The workshop fine belt at low speed heats up the edge of the blade to 163 Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit. This result doesn't come as a surprise, because in 2016 Anthony Spielberg showed heating of a Sandvik knife to over 200 Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit, in a similar experiment with temperature lacquers. Tony honed a Sandvik Maraknev outdoor knife of 12C27 steel on the workshop fine belt for 20 seconds. Over 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit starts edge softening in mainstream knives. Pardon? Extra fine. The blade remained cool throughout the sharpening process, which is important because any heat that develops and builds up in your blade can ruin the heat treat. I've reapplied the temperature lacquers to the knife that showed overheating in the previous experiment. I turn the workshop speed to the maximum. And we do exactly the same test, only with our honing coolant on the belt. 20 strokes.
one is safe. belt with the honing coolant shows no signs of overheating. So what conclusions can we make about the workshop? The coarse belt has no risk of overheating when resharpening at the existing edge angle or regrinding to a lower angle. Both my and Tony's experiments have shown that honing on the workshop fine belt can overheat the edge, compromising heat treatment and edge retention. As I see it, the only remedy is to work with frequent breaks to let the blade cool down or use a honing coolant. In 2018, Mike Brubacher tested a 42-inch belt grinder in regular sharpening using 325 Fahrenheit, 163 Celsius Tempelec. Mike found no overheating in regular sharpening, however, saw overheating in static grinding. A quote. We simply held the blade edge in one spot for two seconds against the belt with maybe a pound of force. Here's the final picture. Tempelec has all but fully triggered. Mark Reich, a US knife maker, found that grinding in one spot on a 72-inch belt grid 220 took about two seconds on the butcher knife and one second on the paring knife to trigger the 300 Fahrenheit 150 Celsius Tempelec. The 42-inch and 72-inch belt grinder causes far less heating than the workshop 12-inch belt. That said, grind with caution as continuous belt grinding over one second changes the steel temper. Give the belt sharpening every opportunity not to overheat the edge. Maintain contact with the belt under one second per one inch of the blade. Do not overly press the blade, use water to cool and do everything you reasonably can to avoid overheating. In our sharpening workshop, we use this belt sander to straighten the edge line in worn knives, to remove large chips and to reduce the bolster. We use a grid 120 belt for this. The belt is 914 mm, 36 inch long, speed 2900 RPM. In this test, we straighten edge line in a worn knife. First, we did it dry, maintaining contact of the blade with the belt for about one second and pausing for about one second after each contact to let it air cool. Halfway through the job, we saw signs of overheat. All three lacquers triggered 163 Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit, 232 Celsius, 450 Fahrenheit, 
and 371 Celsius, 700 Fahrenheit. So we reapplied the lacquers and continued dipping in water after each contact. The water-cooled grinding did not show overheat in the edge straightening on the belt center. We see only a small area of heating to 163 Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit, at the very edge. In the photo, the upper 371 Celsius, 700 Fahrenheit lacquer blew off, but we see no transition in the remaining part. That small, mildly overheated area will be ground off during sharpening. No problem. Oh, pop. Le pop. Le pop.